Believe it or not, all of these shots were filmed on a phone. And I've gotten so many questions over the last couple of years. If you're a beginner filmmaker looking to get started in filmmaking, what should you buy if your budget is $500 and below? And my answer to you guys is, unless you're willing to buy a used camera that's a few years old, my recommendation is to buy a few really awesome accessories that can drastically upgrade the quality of your phone footage. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the gear and the apps that I use to create footage like this shot on your phone. So the question that I wanna start by answering is, why would you do this? Why would you invest your money into your phone? And honestly, that's a really good question, but here's how I feel about it. If you're a beginner filmmaker just getting started or a content creator just trying to produce some content for social media, sometimes breaking out your camera is just a little impractical. Maybe you don't wanna carry your camera around and you're traveling on vacation and maybe you just wanna bring your phone. You could still capture some really great content using your phone. And the best part about this is that almost everybody on the planet has a cell phone. So if you're willing to invest a couple hundred bucks into your cell phone, you could have yourself a little mobile cinema camera everywhere you go and be able to capture any moment that you're living in in a really beautiful way. So let's take a second and start with the gear, which is all from a company called Freewell. And just so you guys know, they are not sponsoring this in any way, shape or form. I just came across them on Amazon and I did a little research and decided to try out their products. For the case, I am using the Freewell Sherpa along with the Freewell smartphone selfie grip. And then I'm using the gold anamorphic lens package, which also comes comes with ND filters as well. Now we all know that the visual aspect of storytelling is only half the battle. The other half is capturing good, clean audio. And a company that makes great audio equipment for your phone is a company called Saramonic. The Blink 500 Pro X is an awesome wireless microphone system that you can connect straight to your iPhone and start capturing pro level audio. If you're filming something like vlogs or even something like this, all you have to do is connect the receiver to your iPhone and talk into the transmitter. And just to give you an example, this is what it sounds like. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm using the Blink 500 going straight direct into my phone and the audio sounds pretty good. I'm pretty surprised by how small this little thing is and how good the audio comes out. So if you guys are looking to do like man on the street stuff or just like a quick little interview with your cell phone, this is actually a really great option. Using the Blink 500 is really simple. All you have to do is plug the receiver straight into your phone and all you have to do to pair them is turning on the transmitters. A great feature that the receiver has is the ability to plug in wired headphones so you could actually monitor the audio coming in and set the levels on the transmitters. In the box, you get two transmitters. So if you wanna have a conversation in your video and have the ability to capture two different audio sources, this will give you the ability to capture both speakers audio in real time. The transmitters also come with selectable stereo and mono output modes. The reason why I decided to get these three items specifically is because I wanted to be able to use anamorphic lenses and I also wanted to be able to use the hand grip which would allow me to press the power button and hit record instead of having to like tap on my cell phone which if you've ever filmed anything on your phone you know that like you have to film and then like tap the button so if you have a hand grip and you have that extra point of contact and you have something that's really sturdy you just press the button, hit record, or you could use the selfie grip and hit record from a distance, which is extremely valuable. And the really awesome part about the hand grip is that it can not only turn into a selfie stick, but it also has threading on the bottom of it. So if you need to attach it to a gimbal or you need to attach it to a tripod, you can easily do that. The hand grip also comes with a mount on top of it. So if you wanna attach something like a microphone or a light, you could actually do that. And one of the coolest features about the hand grip is that you could actually pull this lever down and extend the grip and now it becomes a selfie stick. The Sherpa case, in my opinion, is awesome because it gives like a really nice added grip to the phone as well as adding another layer of protection around it that feels a little bit sturdier than just your normal iPhone case. And this case specifically comes with a magnetic mount that allows you to attach things like ND filters, anamorphic lenses, and a pearl mist filter just by simply attaching it to this magnetic mount. Now, a big reason why iPhone footage or even photos won't look as good as a camera is because of the lack of dynamic range. So being able to attach something like an ND filter will allow you to be able to control the highlights. That way you can lower the f-stop on your phone and your footage won't look blown out, which in turn will give your shot depth, which is exactly what we're used to seeing when we're using high-end lenses and cinema cameras. And I noticed right away, as soon as I put the ND filter on, the footage just automatically looked better. And the last piece of gear that I got was this gold anamorphic lens. I knew I wanted to shoot a lot of footage during golden hour or in ambient light. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of that cinematic 
anamorphic look. And to be able to have the power of anamorphic lenses in the palm of your hand, in your cell phone, it's just crazy to me. It's crazy to think that we have that ability. So in order to actually record the footage, I use a third party app called Filmic Pro. And the reason why I use Filmic Pro is that it allows me to make adjustments to my footage like white balance and shooting it in a flat profile, which makes it a lot easier to color in post-production. And in the app, you could actually control things like your focus, frame rate, resolution, and zoom. And I don't think this app is for everybody, but people that want to get the highest quality footage out of your iPhone or whatever phone that it is that you're using, I highly suggest using the Filmic Pro app because it gives you that option to actually have flat profile footage. That gives you a lot more dynamic range when you're trying to color your footage in post-production and get yourself a really cinematic color grade. Now for the gold anamorphic lenses and all the other ND filters that it comes with, this comes in at a price of $150. The case itself comes in at a low price of $29 and the hand grip comes in at a price of $79. And for the grand total package coming in at $278, I would say this is a pretty good deal for what it is that you're getting. Now, I just wanted to quickly recap and talk about who I believe this is for. I think this is great for filmmakers looking to get into the world of content creation and get their feet wet into the world of filmmaking. I also think that you need to evaluate what you can buy for this price. This comes in at 278 bucks. Before you buy anything, check all of your options. You know, I would go on eBay and see if you can get a good camera for 500 bucks. Sometimes you might be able to get yourself a deal for like a Sony A7S II for like six or 700 bucks. I've been on eBay and I saw pretty good cameras that are a little banged up and old, but really great cameras that I've shot projects on and that I've made look great for like 800 bucks on eBay. So if you're in a situation where you only have like 250 bucks or 300 bucks and that's all you have and you've searched eBay and you can't find any cameras, I definitely think this is a good option for you. So that is how you turn your phone into a cinema camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Alex Arfadi. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.